Hello, my name is Darius Crow. I'm a medical assistant here at Nevada Career Institute. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating how to properly assist in taking a patient's vital signs. So the first thing we're going to do is take the patient's temperature. So you'll take your thermometer, you're going to place it on the right or left temporal lobe and hold it there until you get an accurate reading. In this case, my temperature is 98.6, which is normal, so that's good. We're going to move on and take the pulse and the respiration. The pulse can be taken by placing your index and your middle finger on the radial artery and holding it there for 30 seconds. We're also going to be looking for the respiration, which can be monitored by one inhale and one exhale. So since we'll be taking it for 30 seconds, we'll need to multiply the number that we get by two, and we'll need to do the same for the respiration. All right, so in this case, I got 33 for the pulse. We'll multiply that by two and we get 66. That's a little lower than usual, so I would need to follow up and see what's going on with that. The respiration was four, so multiply that by two and that's eight, um, which is also a little lower than usual. So again, we would need to follow up with the provider and see why the patient is not breathing properly. So the last thing that we're going to do is take the blood pressure. So we are gonna take our stethoscope, We'll take the blood pressure cup, place it, excuse me, place it on the right or left arm, making sure that the label aligns with the artery here in the arm. All right, we connect the two and then we so using the stethoscope, we'll put the stethoscope underneath the blood pressure cup and we'll hold it there so that we're able to listen for the highest and the lowest point of the blood pressure. And in this case, my blood pressure is 120 over 80, so that's normal. And that is how you successfully practice the patient's vital signs. Thank you.